We have a special treat. Those of you who have been coming to TFCon for quite a few years might remember that before we did the script reading, we had a prequel comic that was released. And this year we decided to do that again. So we'll be reading the prequel comic first. It should be displayed up on this, uh, these monitors. And then we'll be diving right into the script reading. I hope you enjoy. Warning. Fortress Maximus has achieved landfall. Coordinates. Zero. Two. Zero. Three. Nine. Seven. Perfect. After countless stellar cycles of waiting, total control of Cybertron is finally within my grasp. Of course, there were a few, some setbacks along the way, but they only led to grander acquisitions. All provided by a cackling lunatic who thinks I'm going to use these titans in the name of Unicron. <laughs> How about we see what this concoction can actually do, shall we? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will be the first to go? How about you? <clears throat> Fool. Fortunately, I've managed to scavenge some broken down and antiquated Cybertronian tech on this pathetic little planet. And by using residual repeat wave energy, the chaos bringer left behind, I built myself an army. Naturally, some members needed to be reminded of their place. But... Others, like this wayward universal traveler, are all too eager to assist me. You finally got her to shut up. Yes. I advised her it was illogical to scream. That a patch of this complexity is excruciatingly painful regardless. I believe she has finally gotten the message. Excellent. Then the time has finally come, Shockwave. It's time for our friend here to reactivate this forgotten Titan and show these persistent Maximals recovery team the true might of the reborn Decepticons. And once they've been dealt with, Cybertron will at long last be mine alone to rule. Warning. Huh? Uh. Space bridge activity detected. Coordinates. One, one, eight, eight, six. And now on for the script reading. Thank you very much again for Jay to animating, uh, drawing that and laying it out. A lot of hard work, so a lot cool. of effort. That was cool. Dinobot Island, a time lo <laughs> land lost inhabited by mighty prehistoric beasts, rich with pools of dark energon, and unblemished by eccentric humans who would spoil its majestic beauty by building a theme park. <laughs> Although it has remained undisturbed since the end of the Great War, a small group of Predacons have recently infiltrated the island. Their goal is to reactivate and recruit a Decepticon warrior who was exiled here long ago. All that stands in their way is a small band of Maximals, but after their last encounter, the chances of halting the Predacon plans has greatly diminished. T.F. Khan is proud to present Master of Puppets. What is the status of our comrades, Air Razor? Powerglide is still in the CR chamber, and Inferno is helping Red Alert through the latest bout of MSIB. I mean, MISB. <laughs> RC is scouting the perimeter, and Outback is manning the controls of Fortress Maximus. Uh, without Windblade, he is trapped in battle station mode, and can only operate at 50% capacity. Courtesy of the Maximal Upgrade. Indeed. We must find the Predacons and recover Windblade at all costs. Tigatron, I need to ask you, how does it feel? What do you mean? I mean, being back here, back on Earth, after all this time. 
Much has happened since we last set foot upon this planet. Both this world and we ourselves have changed in many ways. However, my spark pulse grew stronger the moment I set foot upon this earth. I feel the same way. Wait a minute. It's RC. We have to move. Meanwhile... Start talking, Predacon! One nano, we fighting on Cybertron, the next we suddenly on... <laughs> Dinobot Island? How you do that? How? It's your fault we're here, Grimlock. How is me Grimlock's fault? Me just minding me own business, helping bring Unicronian spawn to Magnaboss, when me see you lurking around with Transwarp Cell. We fight, sparks fly, then in mighty flash, we get sent here. I was trying to do my job, moron. It was my job to operate the remote space bridge controls to ensure the Titan's safe passage to Cybertron. Ah, doesn't matter. Razorclaw ordered our remaining Predacon brethren to be on standby in case I was compromised. Really? You leave in the hands of Rampage, Headstrong, and Tantrum? They even stupider than you! No. They're all dead. But their descendants, Bedlam, Tenacious, and Outburst, have proven themselves more than reliable. Yeah, but when you're their point of comparison, that really isn't saying much, Decepticreep. Yeah, who are you? I'm the Omnibot with an Energon bow pointed directly at your spark casing. They call me RC. <laughs> what? No way! You're not RC! I am so RC, you cruel lock knockoff! Cruel lock? Who the bit is cruel lock? Well, this has been uh, fun, but I really do have somewhere else to be. Beast mode! Hey, get back here! Forget it! He already out of range! Thanks a lot for letting him get away, RC! Me? You're the one who. Oh. Air Razor, maximize! Tigatron, maximize! <laughs> RC, status! The base is right where you said it would be, Commander. Metro Titan is there too, in city mode. I was about to do further reconnaissance when I was alerted to space bridge activity and stumbled upon him and other techno organic Terracon. Um, we know Terracons! Him Predacon named Dive Bomb! And me, Dinobot, named Grimlock! Grimlock? As an Autobot Lieutenant Grimlock? I'm honored. But how did you wind up here? <sighs> me Grimlock already explained me self on last page. <laughs> <sighs> how about you explain who you are and why this one insists on calling herself R.C.? The R.C. me know always transforms into snazzy Cybertronian car and occasionally a spider. Uh, not some dinky little two-wheeler. Get your head out of your exhaust port, Grimmy. There are a lot more two-wheeler R.C.s than you think. Me? The abandoned first movie concept? Revenge of the Fallen? Shattered Glass? Aligned? The scooter from Legends of the Micron Counts? All of us have motorcycle alt modes. What is it with you and bikes? <laughs> we have been trailing a group of Redicane Predacons who used the severed leg of Metroplex to craft a new Decepticon Titan. During our last battle, they kidnapped our comrade, Windblade, and have retreated to an abandoned Decepticon facility on this island. They're near the tar pits in Subgrid, Archangel. Oh, me know that place, me call it. Uh, U.S. Acres, uh, 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 Orson's Farm, uh, Orson's Pig Waller. If that's where they take Windblade, all me say is, uh-oh. Uh-oh? Oh, that no abandoned facility at Triptychon. Let's roll out Beast Mode. Me Grimlock still can't believe that Beast Mode ever caught on. <laughs> Meanwhile, inside Triptychon. What were you thinking coming here? You, you're gonna, you're gonna lead the Maximals right to us! I had nowhere else to go. And why should I fend for myself when I have reinforcements at the ready? 
Besides, you think the Maximals weren't already on their way here? We're the only Cybertronians on this miserable rock. Well, if, if they get here before everything is ready, Slipstream will scrap us! What's wrong, Shellhead? Frightened because you didn't get a vehicle mode with your transmetal upgrade? Fortunately, my new hypersonic jet mode and twin sickle blasters are more than enough to tear the Maximals to shreds. So, if, you're, if your new body is that powerful, how come it never made it into the show? <laughs> <laughs> it was supposed to <laughs> but, but the writers knew how popular Waspinator was and asked the executives to have him have me killed off instead <laughs> that was the reason the last minute swap so Waspinator could live <laughs> At least they plan to kill me right off the start from the beginning. <laughs> Scorponok, press that for a nano. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so then why haven't you dispatched the Maximals already using your raw transmetal tetradon power? Uh, believe me, bird brain, if I was leader, I would have already slagged those pieces of scrap eons ago. It's that fool slipstream who... <gasps> ah, pterosaur, you remind me of a young me. However, we will all wait here until the Maximals breach our perimeter. Is everybody ready on Cybertron? Dive bomb! The spider was on his way to Magnaboss when the dopey dino ambushed me. But I have total faith in the other members of my pack. The space bridge will be online as scheduled. Excellent. Dive Bomb, you will provide much needed reinforcements to my team now that Grimlock has joined the Maximal Strike Force. The spider? Tarantulas? What does he have to do with any of this? He's almost as loyal as Terrorsaur! <laughs> the spider is of no consequence, nor are members of the Tripredicus Council for that member. Those fox predicons will pay for dumping me into subspace. It was only through the power of friendship or whatever, that I was able to escape and begin crafting even grander schemes. Isn't that right, Windblade? It's not like she's gonna answer, going to answer you. Why, why is she so important anyways? Because she's a city speaker. During the great upgrade, there were unforeseen complications with the city formers. Now all Titans need a secondary operator, a city speaker, to help guide their movements and reign in their raw power. Windblade has been convinced to pilot Trypticon for our cause. And with me controlling Metro Titan remotely, Cybertron will soon fall under a new era of Decepticon rule. Whoa. Don't, don't you mean Predacon? Er Warning. Outer hall breached. Three maximal signatures detected. One Autobot signature detected. All units approaching Trypticon's command chamber. Huh? How do they manage to get inside? Trypticon's tail turns into a ramp, stupid. <laughs> Marvelous. Shockwave, get Metro Titan and await the signal for, from Cybertron. As you command. You five, get ready. I'm sure our visitors will arrive here any... Maximals! Maximals! Maximals. RC, transform! Oh, they're already here. Really? You call that a screech? Let me show you how it's done. Ah! Pterosaur, terrorize! Scorpionaut, terrorize! <laughs> Dive bomb, terrorize! Windblade, by the ore spark. <laughs> what have you done to her? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Whoa, this is total deja vu. More zombie cons? What do you mean? I've never died before. 
I'm one of the two first-generation Predacons still functional. I mean, Pterosaur and Scorponok are standing right in front of us. Both were offline during the Beast Wars, but now they're upgraded and fully functional again, just like Inferno and Dark Steel standing right behind them. Hey, 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 Quick Strack. Me Grimlock not know who those clowns are, but me remember Purple Seeker Lady. She there when bunch of us get teleported into subspace in 2022 L.A. script reading. <laughs> we only managed to escape using power of friendship or whatever. <laughs> she called Slipstream. But how are so many fallen warriors back online? We could ask you the same question. Fair enough. Eraser and I were resurrected through a combination of the Matrix of Leadership, old stasis pods, and convoluted Vok powers. What about her? She's not from our timeline. She's too young to be the vermin's great aunt. I was brought here through the Unicron's repeat wave, just like the shock blast lookalike we saw running out of here. How else do you think I got here? Hopping from place to place by playing games with Rodimus and a custom red and yellow battle ravage as we desperately attempt to find our way home? If Paul Dobson is here, this is exactly what would be happening right now, wouldn't it, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so your rebirths. We're courtesy of me. I scavenged some old tech from your beast wars and used it to hack into the Matrix. But why only resurrect four warriors? And why only beasties? Why do these two still have beast modes while the two quieter ones in the background have vehicular alt modes? And why is Dive Bomb saying terrorize and beast mode when he's clearly techno-organic? And why... <laughs> it's called plot convenience. <laughs> <laughs> Several bolts of energon shoot out to Rasaur's chest. While I appreciate your eagerness, I'm still in command. And I have yet to issue an order to attack. Whoa, what was that? Something Inferno, Darksteel, and I haven't been subjected to yet, right? They nodded. It's called a stasis charge. Each one of my resurrected warriors has one implanted on their spark casings. If they step out of line, like Pterosaur tends to do. All right, you've made your point. Can we just attack these warriors of virtue already? Ha! Me Grimlock, no virtuous warrior. Watch. Ready, fire, aim. Wait! Grimlock fires a blast from his cannon that strikes sl Slipstream square in the chest. Holy scrap! That could have been me. Grimlock, what did you do? What? Me Grimlock saw Big Bad and took her out. Problem solved. B but, but this isn't how these script readings usually go. There's supposed to be a lot of back and forth banter that incorporates fan favorite lines, references to other franchises, and that the voice actors have worked on. Yo, Leo, go ninja, go ninja, go, go ninja, go ninja, go. <laughs> Maybe a little skirmish that leads to a little into the next part of the story, but there's never been a brutal murder in one of these. Uh, only implied and off screen. Yeah, well, me Grimlock tired of being comic relief character, like in G1 season three. Me deserved to be taken more seriously, like in Marvel, where me was totalian leader with Crown, who butted heads with Prime, or brutal warrior thrown out of Autobot Academy, and motto is kill all cons, like in IDW. <laughs> So now what? Hear me, Predacons. Slipstream is no more. The entire Rogers network is down. <laughs> <laughs> With Slipstream's spark extinguished, I will become your new leader. And my first command is for you to attack the Maximals at once. I don't think so. We are evenly matched, and one of my pistol's barrels is resting comfortably underneath your chin. Care to try that again? 
Uh, guys? Uh, how about we enact a truce? I have no issues with a truce. However, my trigger finger has a very poor memory. Wow, didn't take you long to throw that back in my face. (laughs) This is kind of important. Now, the question is, how do we disconnect Windblade from all of this? It looks like a horror job between a cortical psychic patch and nanosurgery. Hello? (laughs) What? What is your problem? Look, look at what I just found. So, it's a Decepticon insignia decal. Probably one from the repro labels. Probably. (laughs) Probably, but I found it peeling from Slipstream's wing. And look what it was covering up. An alternate faction symbol. One I am not familiar with. Me am. That G2 Autobot symbol. Me used to see it all the time during me blue period. (laughs) Why would she be wearing an Autobot symbol? There's more. It looks like the blast caused some of her deep purple and off-white finish to evaporate. Look at her undercoat. Red and black. RC, use a servo to scrape off some of the paint from her face. Oh, okay. Oh, my Primus. Caminus war paint. It's Windblade! But Windblade's over there! Really? I mean, I know Hasbro has a repaint and remold, <laughs> but she... Explain this! Now! I don't know anything about this! She just resurrected us and ordered us around! That's it! She's been in contact with Razorclaw and Ratbat, but that's all I know. Wait, did, wait, did you see that? Slipstream's finger twitched. Oh, please. You all being paranoid. It don't matter who she is. Point is, she was evil and now she dead. Me know a dead Decepticon when me see one. There! It twitched again. So you think she just resting or stunned or something? Then me Grimlock will just wake her up? <laughs> Hello, Slippy. Winky, winky, eggs and bakey. Rise or shine, this is your nine o'clock alarm call. And you want to be taken more seriously. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, What the scrap? So, you've discovered my little secret. What the, what are you? Me blasters should have killed. Ah, Grimlock, you never fail to disappoint me. No matter how old you Dinobots get, you remain as stupid as ever. Haven't you figured it out? A dead Cybertronian that still walks among the living? I am Air Commander Starscream! (laughs) Impossible! How can a ghost possess a corpse? Um, hello. Most of us are walking corpses here. My mutant indestructible spark grants me many powers. Immortality, time travel, possession, and much, much more. (laughs) So imagine my luck when Unicron's repeat wave brought not one, but two wind blades into this universe. Two city speakers for two Decepticon Titans. And what do you plan to do with these Titans? Tripticon and... Metro Titan are powerful enough in their own right, but since I've charged their fuel cells with the dark energon reserves found on this island, their power has increased 100-fold. Dark energon? I thought you called it something else. Angola, Angeloli, Angolamano, Anga, something, you know. Yeah, everyone was struggling to pronounce it last time, so I just changed it to dark energon. Ah. And with these dark energon powered titans, we shall conquer Cybertron, resurrect the Decepticons, and I will become the new leader! The resurrection of the Decepticons? Fat chance, Starscream! We Autobots kick your tail fin every weekday afternoon, back in the old days, and me be happy to do it again. 
Yes, but you had Prime to help you back then, and he's long gone now. It's not like he was even that great to begin with. Don't you know what he was like before he inherited the Matrix? Golly gee, evil sounding stranger who turns into a weapon. You can fly? That's a totally good enough reason for me to show you my ginormous supply of energon. Idiot. <clears throat> Ahem. Now, if you don't mind, Metro Titan, lock all weapons on coordinates zero, two, zero, three, nine, seven. Windblade, initiate plan one, 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 zero, zero, two. Tripticon, lock all weapons onto coordinates zero, two, zero, three, nine, seven. <laughs> Fire! No! Fortress Maximus! <laughs> Look at the monitors. Direct hit. You antiquated titan is done for. Not even his leg guns could save him. Star scream! So, who should we help? What a stupid question. <laughs> who cares? Just open fire on all the weirdos. <laughs> Multiple weapons are discharged. Tigatron to Fortress Maximus! Fortress Maximus, please, respond! <laughs> certain vowel sounds, certain vowel sounds. <laughs> out back here, me and the others managed to get out just in time. Fort Max took on catastrophic damage, but he's still processing, barely, what the scrap just hit us! Trust us! <clears throat> you don't want to know! Get off me, you moronic beast! Starscream, blast Grimlock off of him. Predacons, surround the Maximals and target their spark chambers with your weapons or feel my wrath! Dive bomb, contact your pack of primitives and get us out of here! Dive bomb to the Predacons. The situation has changed, but the mission must proceed. The command has been given to open the space bridge at once. At long last, my time has finally come. Attention all Predacon units of the Cybertronian Empire. Brothers and sisters, our time has finally arrived for us to reclaim our birthright. Cybertron, its moon, its colonies, and its future, they all belong to us. Those who believe in the Decepticon Disciplehood, transform and rise up. Looks like we're going back to Cybertron. The one time Rattrap can't say, we're all gonna die, and not be told to shut up, and he's not here to say it. <laughs> so, this game is over. What are we gonna do? We're orbiting Cybertron, trapped inside a killing machine. Outback and the others are stranded back on Earth. Fort Max is down, and we're all just a twitchy twigger fig. Tw twitchy, <laughs> twitchy trigger finger away from being offline. That all true. But me say you and Starscream forgetting the most important truth of all. Which is? Him just make me Grimlock mad. Autobots transform and bash brains. <laughs> It's here for our cast! As RC and Windblade, Sharon Alexander! Grimlock and Outback, Greg Berger! Lori Faso as Dive Bomb and Orion Pax! Doug Parker as Pterosaur and Starscream! Catherine Gerard as Shockwave. <laughs> Leia Porter as the Predacon computer sound effects and Quick Strike slash Dark Steel. <laughs> Michael I as Tigatron. <laughs> Sarah P as Air Razor. <laughs> Matt as Scorponok. <laughs> and Anastasia as Slipstream. <laughs> Thank you all for your participation. Thank you all for your attendance, and we'll see you next year.